Hello, welcome to our letter of the day video. Can you guess what we're going to be talking about today? Not pirates, but we're going to be talking about the letter X and X marks the spot. So we are going to be going on a treasure hunt today. Take a good look at letter X. That's what it looks like. You can make the letter X with your hands. Just cross them like this. Now that we know what it looks like, let's decorate the letter X, okay? So the idea I have for you for today to decorate the letter X is just to use some colorful markers and then just to draw some tiny X's on the big letter X. You can use different colors. You can make some of them big and some of them small. Let's put some blue ones over here. And then let's finish it off with some orange. Okay, so that is the letter X. And now that we know what it looks like, let's try to write it. So to write the letter X, you're gonna start at the top. You're gonna slide down. You're gonna go back to the top, but move over, and then you're gonna slide the other way. Crisscross. Can you try to make an uppercase letter X on your paper? Or you can skywrite if you don't have paper. Okay, let's see what that looks like on the handwriting house. We're gonna start at the top, slide down, go back to the top, Move over and slide the other way. Criss cross. Criss cross. Criss cross. That's the uppercase letter X. Now let's make the lowercase letter X. Let's do it with our fingers. Just take two fingers and cross them. That's the lowercase or little X. It looks the same, it's just smaller. So let's see what that looks like. Crisscross, there it is. Just a little bit smaller. And on the handwriting house, it's gonna be downstairs. So we're gonna start in the middle. We're going to make a line that goes down to the bottom. Pick up our pencil, move up to the top and over and come back the other way, crisscross, crisscross. Okay, that's the lowercase x. Now let's talk about what letter x sounds like, okay? The letter x can say x. It can say its own name, like in the word x-ray. So on the count of three, let me hear what your name is, okay? One, two, three, what's your name? Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, what's your name? <laughs> well, letter X can say its own name. It can say X as in X-ray, but it can also make another sound. Letter X makes the sound X, X, X. It kind of sounds like a K and an S together. X. It to me sounds like the water squirter that I have to use my plant, to water my plants, that I use to water my plants. It makes this sound. Can you try that one more time? Okay, so that's your clue. I'm going to do like that just to remind you that letter X says. Okay, we're going to do some reading today. And before we get started, I need to know what the vowels are. Can you help me remember what they are? Good job, A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the vowels. I'm gonna give you a coin. That was a great job. There you go, one coin. You're gonna get lots of treasures today in our class. Okay, so we're going to do some reading, but I'm not going to use all the vowels. For this lesson, I'm just going to be using these three. X, when it makes the sound x, 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 usually comes at the end of a word. So I'm going to put a letter X at the end. And now I'm going to make three words 
The first one is going to be Max. Can you tell me what letter says mm, mm, mm? That's the letter M. But this is a word, this word is someone's name, Max. So do I need a big M or a little M? I need a big uppercase M because we always start someone's name with a big letter. All right, now let's see the three letter sounds and then we're going to try to blend them together. Mm, ax. Now let's put them together. Mm, ax. Max. Max. Good job. This next one I want to say fix. So what letter makes this sound like a frog? That's letter F. Okay, let's say the sounds separately and then we'll put them together. Ix, fix, fix. The last one I want to say box. So what letter makes this sound b? like you're popping bubbles, ba, 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 ba. That's the letter B. Okay, let's try to read this word. B, ox, b, ox, box, box, like a treasure box. Well, I wanna give you another coin. You did such a great job blending and reading today. There's another coin for you. Okay, for math today, I have a treasure box and I want to see if you can help me count all the treasures that are inside. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to put the link below in case you want to get a copy of this printable too. All right, let's put our treasures inside the treasure box for safekeeping and let's count them as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 treasures in our box. Uh-oh, a pirate has come and taken away three of our treasures. Oh my goodness. Well, let's take away three and see how many treasures we have left. One, two, three. How many treasures are left? You can count them if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, at least we have seven treasures. 10 take away three is seven. So we have seven treasures now. Uh-oh, the pirates are back and they're gonna take away two of our treasures. Oh no, one, two. How many treasures are left? One two, three, four, five. There are five treasures left. Well, I'm glad we still have five treasures. Uh-oh, the pirate ship is back and he's going to get our treasures, three of them. Let's see if we can take away three. One. Let me pull that back up. I think it said it paused it. So let's count again. One, two, three. So five, take away three, leaves how many? Two, there are two treasures left. Uh-oh, the pirates are back. They're going to take two of our treasures. One, two. So how many treasures are left in our box? Zero, we have no treasures left. But don't worry, we're gonna go on a treasure hunt soon and we're gonna try to find those treasures again. Okay, so that was our math time. For our color time today, we're going to be talking about the color red. X marks the spot 
and this X is red. Will you help me sing the song and spell red? R E D red, R E D red. I can spell red, I can spell red. Fire trucks are red, stop signs are red too. R E D, R E D. I have something else that's red. This paper is red. So what shape is this paper? It's a rectangle. Let's see, how many sides does a rectangle have? One, two, three, four. And how many corners does a rectangle have? This is a corner. One, two, three, four. How do I know this is a rectangle and not a square? Because for a rectangle, two sides are short and two sides are long. Well, I'm gonna take this rectangle and I'm gonna cut just one part of, off of the end. And then I'm going to make two smaller rectangles. There's one small rectangle, see? And I'm gonna make one more. Okay, now look what I can do with these two small rectangles. I can bring them together and make an X. And we're gonna need these X's, this X, these two rectangles, because we're gonna make a treasure box for art today. I mean a treasure map, and we're gonna try to find some treasure. Let me show you. Okay, oh, there we go. Let's take a look at all the supplies we're gonna need to make a treasure map. Okay, so first, there are the two little rectangles that we made. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in the middle and I'm gonna put one on top of the other. There we have it, that's our little X. We're gonna put it to the side. Next, I have just a plain piece of white paper and then I'm going to just tear the sides of the paper. We're gonna make this treasure map look like it's really old and worn. You don't have to make it perfect. In fact, the more jaggedy it is, the better. Okay, I have one more side to tear. Okay, next we're going to draw on the map. This is gonna be a map that you can use to find some treasure around your house. So let's start by making maybe the table that you're sitting at when you're doing this video and doing your work. So then we're gonna start at the table where you're sitting now. And then maybe let's go, let's maybe go to the couch. I'll make a couch. Let's go around the couch. And then maybe to your bedroom where your bed is. I'm just gonna draw a very simple bed. Let's go around the bed. And then maybe into the kitchen where the stove is. And then I think I'm gonna hide the treasure in the bathtub. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw just a simple bathtub. Okay, so there's our treasure map. We have it all drawn. And now for the next part, we're gonna make it look like an old treasure map. So I'm going to just take this jar and I'm going to just put a little bit of instant coffee in the jar. It already has just a little bit of water in it. Next, I'm just gonna stir that around. And I'm gonna paint the map and see how it makes it look really old and brown and worn. Another idea would be to use tea bags. And I have a tea bag here. Just use a bag of that you've already a, a bag, a tea bag that you've already used, and you can just kind of rub it on the paper. And that works too. 
that starts to make it look really old and worn. But I think the coffee makes it really, is really the easiest and makes it the darkest. So I'm gonna just finish off my map by painting it with the coffee. Okay. Now we're almost finished. We have to add that X, X marks the spot. So I'm just gonna glue on the X that we made. There it is. Okay, so that's our art project today. We made a treasure map. Now for social studies today, we're going to be doing some simple map skills. Do you remember when we were doing our math activity? Do you remember all our treasures got stolen by a pirate? Well, I'd like for us to try to find that treasure. I found a map. Maybe the pirate dropped the map. I think that this is where it, he was going to hide that treasure. So let's take a look at this map and see if we can figure out where the treasure is. Okay. Hmm, it looks like. There's a ship at the bottom. Do you think we could get on a ship and try to sail and find the treasure? I think we should. At the bottom, there's something else I see. It looks like a circle with a star inside. That's called a compass. A compass tells which direction to go. If you go up on a map, that's north. Down is south. If you go to the left, that's west. And if you go to the right, that's east. So let's use this treasure map that I found and also that compass and let's see if we can find the treasure. Are you ready, everyone? We're gonna get on the ship and set sail. Okay, so we're outside on the ship. Did you jump on board? Let's take a look at that treasure map and see what we need to do next. Okay, so we're on the ship and now we need to head to the left. Do you remember what direction that is? To the left is west. Can you say go west? Okay, it's a little bit, the water's a little choppy. So if you'd like to move around and sway, you can. Oh no, look at the map. I think we're going past a sea dragon. Sea dragons shoot fire. So everybody, let's duck down. Get down, everyone. Duck, duck down. Oh, that was close. I think we're past the sea dragon. Let's look at the map and see where we need to go next. Next, we need to go up. What direction is up on a map? That's north. And I can see some dolphins. Let's stop for a moment and look at the dolphins. Oh, look how pretty, they're jumping. Let's look over here. I love those dolphins. Look at how pretty they are. That was a lot of fun. Okay, now let's see where we need to go next. Next, we need to go to the right. Do you know what direction that is? To the right is east. Can you say east? Do 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 I think we're going through shark infested waters. Can you help me? Let's try to paddle this boat faster. Paddle faster, faster and faster. Can you do that? Paddle faster. We've got to get past these sharks. Oh, that was close. Let's see where we need to go next. Next, we're going up. That is north but we're going past Skull Mountain and it looks so scary. Can I see your best scary face? Oh my goodness, it's scary as we go past Skull Mountain. Let's get out of here. Let's look at the map and see where to go next. Next, we're going to the left. Look, we're going to see the mermaids. What direction are we going if we're going left? That's west. Let's go west and see the mermaids. Do you want to help me wave at them? Hi, mermaids. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Hi, mermaids. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed seeing the mermaids. Let's look at the map and see where to go next. 
Next, we're going to the right. There's a sunken ship. Do you want to get out and see if maybe we can explore it? Okay, let's dive out and see the sunken ship for just a moment. Dive. Now let's swim down and see if we can find maybe some treasure that was left behind by the sunken ship. Oh my goodness, I think I found one. Look, there was a treasure. Let's take it. Okay, so there's our treasure. And now let's look at the map and see where to go next. Okay, next we're going up and that is north. And there are more dolphins. So let's stop and take a look. Look at the dolphins jumping in the water. Oh, they're so cute. Let's look over here. Oh, I love this part of the ocean. Lots of dolphins jumping, but I think it's time to keep going. Remember, we're looking for our lost treasure. Now we need to go to the left. What direction is that? That is west. And look, I think we found it. This is the place on the map where there should be an X. Let's get off this boat and let's look around and see if we can find that treasure. Okay, we're off the boat and I wanna look around and you look around too and see if we can find where the X is. X marks the spot. Do you see an X anywhere? Hmm, where? Right there? You're right. Let's take a closer look. I see your treasure. Oh my goodness, Fred. Fred was the pirate. Fred took our treasure. Let's get our treasure back. <laughs> Fred, how could you? You were the pirate. Well, I got the treasure back. There it is. And you can hold on to it for us. Okay. Well, that was super fun, I think. And I hope you had a good time too. I have just one thing before we say goodbye. I wanna read a story to you. This story is called Max and Ruby's Treasure Hunt and it's by Rosemary Wells. Let's have a tea party, said Max's sister, Ruby. Good idea, said Ruby's best friend, Louise. There was not a cloud in the sky, but suddenly, crash, bang, went the thunderstorm, just when Ruby was pouring a cup of pretend tea for Louise's little sister, Lily. Lily grabbed her doll, Dagmar, and everybody ran into the house as fast as they could. Rain, rain, go away, said Ruby. Come again another day, said Louise. Everybody wants to play, chimed in Max. Grandma heard every word. Let's have a treasure hunt, said Grandma. How does it work, asked Louise. There are seven clues hidden in seven places in the house, said Grandma. Follow the clues one after another and you will find the treasure. Where do we begin, asked Ruby. Let me see, said Grandma. Let's start with this clue. Cock-a-doodle-doo, my dame has lost her. What rhymes with cock-a-doodle-doo? What rhymes with cock-a-doodle-doo, asked Ruby. My dame has lost her shoe, said Louise. Look, shouted Lily. There was Max's sneaker under the chair, and sure enough, there was a clue inside. Ruby read the first clue. It said, look for something that you use to make tea and the next clue you will see. I know, I know, said Louise. She looked in the dining room cupboard. She took out the teapot. Inside the teapot was the second clue. Louise read it. The next clue said, what rhymes with quick? Everyone guessed what it might be, but Lily got it right. Candlesticks. The third clue was in the hall under one of the candlesticks. Lily found it, but she couldn't read yet, so Louise read it for her. And it said, it has to rhyme with moon. Hmm, this time Max guessed it right. Spoon! Max was the first one to the pantry silverware drawer. 
Sure enough, in the spoon slot was the next clue. Hooray, shouted Max. Max couldn't read the clue, so Ruby had to do it for him. This one isn't a rhyming clue, said Ruby. What could Miss Mary Mac have down her back? Everyone had an idea, but Lily knew the rhyme by heart. She led the way upstairs to the closet. On the shelf was Grandma's sewing box. Silver buttons, said Louise. In the sewing box was another clue. What could it be, asked Louise. It says, blow your horn. How about a car horn, asked Ruby. Garage, shouted Max. Ruby was right. On the steering wheel of Grandma's red Chevrolet was the next clue. Ruby pushed the button and put the top down. The clue said, what rhymes with doc? Everyone tried to think of words that rhyme with doc, like lock, sock, rock, block, smock, and flock. But it was Max who said, clock. But there was nothing under the alarm clock in the bedroom. There was nothing under the clock radio in the guest room. Suddenly, Louise heard it. Bong, bong, bong. It was the grandfather clock in the living room. Downstairs, they all went. Ruby opened the door of the big grandfather clock. Inside was the last clue. It said, look for grandma. Max bolted for the screened porch. He opened the door and there was grandma. And under her chair was a treasure box. Max was the first to open it. Inside were five gold coins filled with chocolate. They're too beautiful to eat, said Ruby. But there are only four of us and five coins, said Louise. One's for Dagmar, said Grandma. Dagmar, shouted Lily. Where's Dagmar? Did you leave her in one of the clue locations, said Grandma. Maybe, but which one, said Ruby. So they started another treasure hunt, but this time for Dagmar, Lily's doll. They went in the dining room, the hall, pantry, closet, garage, bedroom, and living room. There were so many clues in different locations. No one could remember where Dagmar might have been lost. But then Max got an idea. Parlor! And in the parlor, there was Dagmar, right where Lily had left her. Hooray! Well, I hope you had fun today. We went on a little treasure hunt of our own, didn't we? I had a good time. And I'll see you next time for the daily Letter of the Day video. Goodbye!